I'm just grateful to the government for making the levels of the immunization very clear so that healthcare workers are number one and then our vulnerable seniors are number two on the list to receive the immunizations. Cheryl Wilson is purposely dressed in red, white, and blue. She has been waiting for this day ever since she was one of the first local health care CEOs to contact CVS pharmacies when the government announced it and Walgreens would be getting the Pfizer vaccine. Woo! Part of the federal CDC pharmacy partnership with long-term care. All four of St. Paul's senior care communities are involved, starting with the McCall Health Center in Bankers Hill. First round of shots, 45 residents, 95 health care workers and staff. Wilson told us the inoculations are voluntary, adding that all of the patients were on board, but that 40% of the workers and staff opted out to see what, if any, side effects developed. Wilson was optimistic that that wouldn't be an issue, but even more upbeat over what the vaccinations will mean to the residents and their families. It's been a lot of mental anguish for families and for the seniors who have missed their loved ones. When they live in a facility such as the McCall Health Center, they uh, don't get out very much. And the visits from their families are integral to their quality of life. January 15th, that's Cheryl Wilson's target date. That's the date she hopes will mark the fact that all four St. Paul's communities have gotten a first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. In Bankers Hill, Ed Lenderman, KUSI News.